What do you guys think of our new tote bags? I mean, I only got two, and they're both for me. What do you think? I like it. So we have a few plans for today's video. The first one is eating food. It's a very rainy day here in Chilliwack. Um, we're pretty tired from the work week and we kind of decided that it'd be fun to go and get some yummy vegan food here in Chilliwack. So we're excited to show you one of the places we've tried and the other place we haven't tried, but I looked at the menu and I got so excited. So um, we are going to be doing that. And then we also wanted to do some autumny stuff. We went to pick up some pumpkins. And then, oh my God. And then, there are clothes flying everywhere. The last thing that we wanted to do was, well, I mean, kind of the main thing, the meat, I would say, of today's video. It's gonna be answering some just frequently asked questions about van life. Uh, questions that we get all the time, that I get specifically all the time over on TikTok. Um, so our subscribers are going to kind of know the, the answers, I guess, to some of these questions. But I also know that there's always new people here and um, I mean, we still get these questions all the time. So I guess we haven't made some of these things clear. So we're going to be answering kind of like Van Life um, FAQs, kind of a Q&A video while we do the things today. So if you're interested in learning more about van life and us and um, seeing some delicious vegan food here in Chilliwack, then come along for the ride because it is the middle of October. It's rainy and miserable. We don't really want to be outside all day today and yeah, it should be fun. So let's do it. Hey, my bus goes down this way. How much does it take to fill up our tank now that we're here? How much, how much gas does it take to yeah. fill up the tank? Like in liters? Yeah. I think it's like around a 100 liter tank. I always fill it up when it's at a quarter tank. I never let it go below a quarter tank. And it's like 85 liters. So I guess probably like 120 liter tank. So it's 66, <laughs> yeah. We're at 60, almost 70 liters now. 70 liters, 100 bucks. Gas is 142.9. Uh, again, I don't know what that is for Americans watching. Ooh. Ooh. I think maybe we were a little over a quarter tank. The first question that I actually had on the list yeah. was how much did the ambulance cost in general? So the ambulance itself, before we converted it, we paid $6,000 Canadian for it. And uh, with the build that we did in the back, after gutting it, building it all ourselves, buying all the materials that we needed, uh, it was another $6,000 to build it. Um, now, we also bought, we had to buy two new batteries, like the auxiliary batteries in here to run everything in the back. We had to buy those brand new, and that was like a thousand bucks that we normally wouldn't have had to spend if the batteries were not destroyed. We didn't have to, yeah, if we didn't have to get the, the batteries, it would have been like five grand. Look how cute it looks back there. Oh god. Huh? I still love this thing. The ambulance? Yeah. Yeah, of course, me too. It's like, like my favorite shit ever. So sick. Um, so that's not it. I don't know where it is. One second, let me just look it up. Uh, we went to go at, to a place called The Plant Butcher, which is a vegan food truck. Oh, I didn't realize it was a food truck, actually. I thought it was like a little restaurant, but it's like a vegan uh, food truck. It, we've had it before, once before. We had like a vegan Big Mac, and it was so good. Um, so we were gonna get that. We didn't really like think to look it up, and because it's Sunday today, um, the truck is in Surrey. It's not even because it's Sunday, it's just a random day, like they're at a festival. Oh, weekend. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, instead, we are going to Cultivate Cafe, which is a vegan... Is it all vegan? No. no. So they have some vegan options there. I'm excited. Aww. Love it. Yeah. Pretty cool. 
let's go. It's gonna be too loud in the background. Hopefully not. No, I'm sure it'll be alright. Okay. So the next question is, and we kind of answered this. So recently, we were in, um, we were just featured in an article on Insider, which was so cool to be interviewed for, and um, whatever. And there were other whatever. other van lifers too, like other people. If you follow van life channels, you probably follow them too. And this question came up because it was kind of about like van life and relationships and all that. And this one was, do we ever need time away from each other in the van? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But I think we're pretty good at, like I'm, I mean, I'm pretty good at just like leaving and being able to go and skate or, or just like leaving when I know that it's time to leave. Yeah, I definitely get a lot touchier than Nick does. Like you, you would probably be able to hang out just me and you way more than I yeah. I'm able to. And we talked about this in our like van life and relationships video, but I personally sometimes like I consider myself an introvert, honestly. Like I, I sometimes oh. just need um, I sometimes just need time for myself. Obviously in like videos it looks like we're always together because we are always together when we're filming. Yeah. But other than that, like I mean at nighttime sometimes you'll just go and do your own thing or I'll do my own thing or like we'll just one of us will put headphones in and then just sit watch YouTube videos or play video games yeah. or like we're whatever. still in we're still a normal couple that needs time away from each other. Yeah. For sure. Well I wouldn't really say this is authentic on me but it still looks like it's gonna be really good. The next question is, and we haven't gotten this one in a long time, like I'm pretty sure all of these questions we get all the time and I'll be able to link them, or at least an example of one, but this one we haven't gotten in a long time, but I just figured we should talk about it anyway, is how we met. Oh really? Yeah, like we, it's been a while. One, somebody asked us recently what our star signs are and we're both Scorpios. <laughs> but so, it's been a while since someone asked how we met. And I'm gonna answer it anyway. So, um, we met through a friend. I was at the time dating somebody else when we met and um, in a happy relationship. And Nick and I became best friends. Like we hung out all the time. We hung out with a group of like, how many of us were there? Four, four mostly, five. mostly four and then like Dan Herzog as well. So I would say like five, people was our like core group of friends and we hung out like every single day and at that time too we were um, we were all working like in this one area in Vancouver in East Van and I worked like a maybe two minute three minute drive from uh, where Nick and them were working so I'd always like come pick everyone up for lunch or I just join them out for lunch and yeah, we'd hang out like all day. Like we'd hang out at lunchtime and then we'd hang out after work. And then my ex and I broke up. He actually dumped me and I was dumped. And um, a little after that, Nick and I decided to change our relationship and not just be friends anymore. And like immediately we just fell in love because we were already best friends for all these years. And so it was really easy to just like turn that love into that like friendship love into relationship love and now we're married obviously and this was all a long time ago this was in 2015 2016 when I'm kind of referring to that time well, when we were hanging out as friends yeah, yeah around then we started dating it was like 2017 2018 I think we started dating in 2017 but yeah. we started like hanging out okay best friends probably in 2015 mm -hmm. And then uh, we started dating in 2017, and then we moved to Cambodia in 2018. So, so let's go into the garden and see. I, I mean, they should sell pumpkins. I don't yeah, see they why do. they went. Okay, let's go. Halloween's not even for like a few weeks, and it's all already Christmas stuff. Okay, I want to go look at the plants. Not that I have anywhere to put them. I think I can put a pineapple plant in the van. <laughs> a pineapple plant in the van. Oh, 
fan <laughs> in the winter time. This one's a nice one. Oh, I think that's heavy. But you can maybe get that one. Yeah. And then, like I like the really little ones, but I don't think I'd be able to get my hand in nicely. Big Papa? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where we're going to put it after. Just leave it on somebody's doorstep for us. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, thank you. Bye -bye. You have a carved uh, pumpkin in a van. And we have the guts. The guts with the, the seeds. We'll keep the seeds in here and then we'll just put these in the fridge. But sure. otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Let's start, but the yucky guts just go in here. Okay. Okay, okay here, use this one. It's so much easier. It's okay. But I'm not using it right now. I know. So why aren't you just using it? Because I don't mind using this one. You like that one? Yeah. So the next question was, how do we make money on the road? Or how do we make money for van life? How can we afford this lifestyle? Well, right now, we are working brick and mortar jobs. So, that's kind of the way that we've been doing it for now. But, uh, we are going to be starting work online here shortly. And that will allow us to be able to travel a bit more and be able to work out of the van. Um, while we travel. But we work like regular basically jobs. So the way that we've been traveling for the last couple of years, van life aside, um, the way that we've been traveling for the past couple of years has been us just working and then saving money and then traveling and then basically doing it all again. Yeah. So we haven't like ever really you know, like some some um, van lifers and like travel YouTubers and stuff, they're, they're able to like, I don't know, tell you that they do some kind of cool thing. Like, oh, I work online as a, oh, oh my God. God. I work online as a software engineer or like, you know, whatever. But we, we don't have that, so. Obviously we have like the YouTube channel and that pays us a little bit of money, but it's not nearly enough to fund our travels and all that, mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, no, we work. We'll work for like a long period of time. Before we built the van, we were traveling, but we were working the whole time. So when we were living in Cambodia, we were working. When we were living in Australia, we were working. And we basically just work and then we travel. My hand is covered in pumpkin, so. Thank God for face ID. This one we get online uh, on TikTok so much. I don't think we've ever been asked this on YouTube because I think people on YouTube probably know the answer to this question, but we're going to answer it anyway. What did we do with all the sirens and the lights from the ambulance? Uh, well, we didn't do anything with them because when you purchase the ambulance, um, it doesn't come with sirens or lights uh, because it is illegal to have those on an ambulance. I did, however, when I was building the ambulance, I found the wiring. So, I mean, technically, if I bought some sirens and all that online, I could probably have wired them up. But again, very illegal and... Uh, so I actually learned, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I actually right. learned because we always have said that, we're like, oh, it's illegal to have the sirens and lights on. And then I've also gotten a lot of responses to that saying, well, it's actually not illegal, you just can't use it on public roads mm. that's also not true so it's different like all the ambulance if tiktok has taught me anything if being roasted on tiktok from certain paramedics and shit if that hasn't if that's taught me anything it's actually so much about like ambulances like i know quite a bit about purchasing retired ambulances now because the first thing is that we said we've always said like oh the ambulances a government vehicle and like Americans will comment and be like ambulances are not always government vehicles here mostly they are we have very few privatized companies um, in Canada 
let alone BC. Um, so this was a government vehicle and it was very well maintained. The other thing is in BC, it is illegal to have your sirens, to have sirens and lights on um, your car. You can't have anything that's like a bell, whistle or horn as per the BC Motor Vehicle Act. So yeah, here it's illegal. I guess in some states, it wouldn't actually be illegal to have sirens and shit on your ambulance as long as you just didn't use them. But yeah, no, we, ours were already well removed before we bought the van. Yeah. Um, Cause the guy we bought it from, he had bought it from a government auction. Yeah. Which also brings us to another question, which is how did we find our ambulance and um, where can you buy a used ambulance? Um, well, we found ours on Craigslist, which here in BC is basically like a buy and sell um, page. Uh, I don't know. They have it in the US too. They have Craigslist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember Chris D'Elia would read out the Craigslist? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Craigslist is a thing. But like even in Ontario, like you have Craigslist obviously, but a lot of people use Kijiji for, especially for selling cars and stuff. Yeah. Here, Craigslist, like Craigslist is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Or Facebook Marketplace, but we didn't find ours there. So how would you suggest finding an ambulance to someone who maybe has already looked on Craigslist and hasn't found shit? Um, I would do some research into maybe like government auctions and just skipping the like the third middle party, man. like the middleman, yeah, that we went to. I had no idea that they just auctioned these things off. We just so happened to see it on Craigslist and went for it. Um, so that would be maybe where I would start. Um, I mean, you know, yeah. just have to do some research into it. Google's a wonderful tool. <laughs> it is, but I think that when people search like where to buy ambulances to convert, Mm -hmm. They're brought to like our ambulance conversion video and then they ask us. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's why like a lot of people, like I think that when people are doing their research, they come across us and that's why they use us as a research tool. Sometimes. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I would say the best thing is like a government auction if you're in a place where they are government vehicles. If you're not in a place where they're government vehicles, you have then, to ask the private companies, I think. Yeah, you maybe talk to the private companies, but at that point, like, I think a lot of them are just kind of like ran into the ground. So I don't know if I would be that interested in purchasing an ambulance off of like a privatized company. Uh, yeah, a privatized company just because like from what the paramedics have told me on TikTok, I like, would not want to buy one from a privatized company in in the US. Yeah. Could be wrong. Every place might be different. Again, I don't really know. Oh, I have there's tons still in here that I haven't even Oh, you're going to dig through? Yeah, like I kind of have been doing it, but Let's do some because right before we started filming this video, I just posted to Instagram and I said, hey, if anyone has any extra questions. So, um, here's one that's kind of fun from Michael D. Frank. Hey, Michael. Hey. Um, he asked, now that the U.S. border is opening, when will you finally come down this way? Well, we've got news for you, Michael. Um, we actually just uh, talked about last night um, going down to the States because the land border will be open November 7th uh, between from Canadians going to the United States. Um, we won't be going down on November 7th. However, we will be going down right at the end of November. We've decided um, we'll probably start jobs online, as I was mentioning before. Um, we have a couple of um, ideas, ideas of, of what we can do with that, and which we will update you guys on once they're a little bit more finalized. We're finally going to get the hell out of here for the winter. So. And I'm on a contract with my job, so my job ends at the beginning of November, and then... Um, for my job, it's just with um, my best friend, so he, you know, he knew, like, we'd be out of here probably, like, when we could. Um, so it's no shock, you've already... He's yeah, already I've already him. let him know, like, so yeah, we'll be, we'll be out of here, like, we'll probably be crossing the border in, like, a month, so, um, or a li little over a month. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what the answer to that question. Um, Which is super exciting. This will be yummy to make pumpkin seeds. Yeah.
The next question that some people, again, who watch this channel probably already know, but where do we get mail? How do we get our mail? Well, we don't really get that much mail, but uh, our actual mailing address is uh, like 300 kilometers away up at my mom's place. We don't really get all that much mail anyways. Uh, and when we do, like, or if we know we're getting something or we ordered something, um, we just kind of see where we're going to be at and then we'll order it to like a friend's mail, like one of their addresses or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's typically how we deal with mail. But for the most part, yeah, we don't really get all that much mail. Occasionally my mom will message me and just say like, oh, we have got some mail in and then it's usually just like junk mail anyways, so yeah. Okay, so Nick's pumpkin. <laughs> we we're we we're really close to making it nice, and then when we got to the E, <laughs> we kind of watched the E. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It took way longer than I thought. I forgot how hard carving pumpkins is. Especially if you're using dollar store tools. Yeah. Next time, just do a face. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, I'm not carving a pumpkin because it's just stupid. <laughs> Honey! What the fuck? It's fine, it just took way too long. I like carving <laughs> Wow, yours is great, but mine's not. Who's fault is that? Okay, two vegan butter chicken? Yep, uh, two vegan palak paneer. Just one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. One, one vegan palak paneer? One vegan palak paneer? Yep. Spice for food. Um, it's as hot as as hot as you can make it. Spicy. We like it spicy. Everything hot? Yes. Everything hot. Yeah, everything. I used to go there all the time when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, no, never here. I don't know if this place is new or what, but with tons of vegan options, you can't go wrong. I also wasn't vegan then. Yeah, yes, it was. So, I was just like oh, Ch Shandar Hut's been voted um, like, I, I don't even think it's like best Indian food or anything. I think it's been voted like best restaurant in Chilliwack. And it's been voted, it was voted like five years in a row or something like that. Like it's, it's really good food there, but I have high hopes for Sangam as well. I think it's gonna be really good. I mean, they're literally right down the road from Chandara. So, you know. Step up the competition. Exactly. I can only, I, I assume that this place must be new. Well, I actually found it on Happy Cow. Oh really? Yeah. I found this place on Happy Cow and like we've said this in many videos we always rely on Indian food because we love Indian food um, and there's usually so many definitely vegetarian options but less vegan options just in like butter sauces and naan and stuff um, but this place in particular has like a full vegan menu and basically any of their paneer dishes they will also make them vegan and they just substitute tofu which is so smart very cool and they even have like vegan butter chicken they have like unchicken and then they have vegan butter sauce so hats off already for just having that on the menu and i'm really excited to try it the next question that we have not answered yet do we ever want to buy a house or sometimes it gets phrased as, why don't you guys just want to buy a house? That's a straightforward way of putting it, I guess. I think there's a misconception with van lifers and travelers, and we kind of talked about this together in one of our videos, about how like, yeah, there are tons of, especially van lifers who have absolutely no interest in having a mortgage and a home and there are tons of travelers that don't want that at all, don't want kids, don't want the family life. A lot of travelers don't even like want to get married. And there are people that do it out of necessity as well. Totally, and there's van lifers who live out of their vans because they're not doing the van life movement thing. Well, I mean, they are, but th some people are living out of their vehicles out of necessity. There's all sorts of reasons why someone would be living out of their van um, or nomadic or whatever. Uh, you guys obviously know our situation, we are not rolling in the dough, but we're fine and we thought that this sounded like a 
good idea for us to, you know, have some freedom and be able to see like our own backyard and travel on our own continent. Um, and we cannot wait to take this van through the US. Like we're so excited for that. And it's been really fun exploring BC in it. But van life for us, we definitely do not want to live in a van forever. And we definitely, yeah, we know we do want to buy a house or property and maybe build a house. Um, I know that can be cliche with like a lot of van, like the OG van lifers on YouTube are all building their own houses and stuff now. But yeah, I don't know. We've thought about building like a tiny home. Like we we have like a whole bunch of different ideas. So yeah, we do want to eventually have property and um, that's definitely a dream and idea of ours. Another one that we should address if it's a van life FAQ or Q&A type of video is how we shower, which changes all the time. Like I feel like when we first started our van life content, um, we were like showering at random gyms and then doing like drop-ins and then we got the Anytime Fitness membership and then lately because we've been um, working full time, we are living with... Um, one of our best friends, Nick's best man at our wedding, and we just showered there, so, at his house. But we're not living with him, we're living beside the house. Oh yeah, we're not living with him. <laughs> Sorry, I meant we're working, you're working with I'm him. I'm working with him, yeah, yeah, and we're just like, we're parked near them, uh, so that when yeah. I leave early so in the morning. So they can commute together. Yeah, and then, so after work and stuff, I'm able to just run in and we can just shower and, yeah, we just shower in our friend's house yeah. right now. Yeah. Because we're working with said friend. I just shower every day because I'm filthy after work. Yeah, like when you're working, because Nick's working in concrete right now, so he, like, a shower is necessary. You know, when we're on the island, it was like once every two days mostly that we'd, like, try to find a shower, sometimes three days or whatever, and then you're, like, really looking for a shower. But, um, and then in Kelowna, we were in a great routine. I think it would be, like, once every two days, sometimes once every day. We'd go to any type of fitness, but now it's like every day at our friend's house. <laughs> Same thing, that answer is just always going to be kind of different. And then when we go through the U.S., we'll probably get a Planet Fitness membership because that's what most people do there. I don't know. I'm just spewing what I think is true about American van life. I haven't done it, so can't comment on that. We only have one, um, my hair, very full and ready for bed. Me too. The very last question is in, um, honor of, where's the pillow? Is it in honor of a spooky season? Mm, I <laughs> and think I being, know what this one is. And it being autumn. Mm hmm And this is definitely a frequently asked question for, for us. Yep. Do we have any ghosts in our ambulance? Do we have any ghosts in our ambulance? No. No, we do not have any ghosts in our ambulance. I don't think so. I'm like open to like talking about supernatural shit, like fully. I'm open to that. And no, we don't have any ghosts in our ambulance. There's no one here. My family members and friends that have passed away, I feel them around in general. And I feel like that's how, like, um, obviously this is just my opinion, but, like, I feel like that's how, if there is an afterlife or anything, my opinion is that, that that's how that works. Yeah. Like, that spirit or those people will be with you and around you and around people that they love. I don't see why, if somebody died in this ambulance, why they would hang out with us. Mm-hmm. They're probably with their friends and family. Unless they think that we're fun to hang with. Yeah, and like they're like, oh yeah, like this this van life thing seems pretty dope. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't think that they're here. I think that they're I, I think they're off doing something else. If anyone ever died in here, I don't think they're hanging out with us. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That will close the video here. 
because that actually answered all of our questions. All of our FAQs. We just need to put tea lights in those pumpkins mm -hmm. and set them somewhere. Sure. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, coming along with us um, on our rainy vegan food stuffing chores day. And um, bye. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks guys.